Hi, my name's Tara. I'm Dave. We're, We're the, the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. I am a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. <laughs> You're like in slow motion today. I'm tired. We do videos about reselling. So what sold, hauls from Goodwills. What I'll, else do we do? I put some Amazon books on this list too. Amazon, what sold. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. What sold. What sold. And we have Dave's items are, he's playing catch up because he missed the last video. And so it's January, all of January through the 21st. Like we were going to do one week snapshot, but now he's got three, three weeks, weeks so. and I have one week. So mine are one week's worth, his are three weeks worth. So we're going to start with your non eBay sales. So this is Amazon and Facebook and he's going to go through them as fast as he can, which is not going to be fast. So the first thing is the Indian folk medicine guide. I sold it on Amazon. I had that book for about six months. I sold it for $9.99 and I got it for less than a dollar because I usually only buy paperbacks and I don't pay more than a dollar. A Hot Wheels case. I remember this. Yeah, yeah it's like a tower. It's got ramps. Uh, sold it for $17 on Facebook Marketplace. Plus shipping? No, no. That was like two kids ran up to the door and oh. gave me $15 and $2 in change. Invincible uh, Iron Man number 22, first series. Sold that for $9.99. I've had that for about a year. What is that? It's a comic book. Oh, okay. Sold on where? Uh, Amazon. Um, Autumn's Chaos, a book I just got like a few weeks ago at a local thrift shop where I can get 50 cent um, paperbacks. And I sold it for $8.99 on Amazon. Unforgettable Flight. This was a signed edition. It was signed by the author. And I got $19.83 for it. I've had that one for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. But uh, at least I didn't donate it like Tara wanted me to. I didn't ask you to donate that book. I said clear out stale inventory. There was one more Facebook and it was, <laughs> it was no floozies in the jacuzzi before oh, yes. 9 p.m. This is a sign. Sign, metal sign. Where did that come from? I think you got the it at bin. the outlet. Yeah, got the it bin. at the bins. I sold it for 20 bucks. Okay. Uh, had it for a couple weeks. So now we're on my eBay items, which were six in the last week, which is more than usual, I feel like. The first was a vintage like jacket and skirt set. This is from the Hoarder House, which I can put a link to that video above. I mention that all the time. This was free to us. It was left over after the, the sale and it sold for something. I think it was the best offer. So I think it was 30 some dollars. The next thing that sold was a Victoria's Secret silky nightgown. We got this at our neighbor's yard sale. Our neighbor across the street buys storage lockers, but oh. the, he knows nothing about clothing. So I've purchased several things from him for like a dollar. So this I bought for a dollar and I sold it for $15. It had been listed on Poshmark for two months and then sold immediately after I put it on eBay. Next was an Under Armour Run Micro Thread like running shirt, lightweight running shirt. I don't remember where I got this at all. Uh, it sold for $10, <laughs> I believe. Next was a Vera Pele vintage wide belt. I got this at the bins and I very, very rarely buy belts because I don't like belts, but it was so weird. It was so weird and ruffled and it was leather. It was listed on Poshmark for two months and sold the day I put it on eBay. I took an offer of, I think, $18 or $19. The list price was $30. But still, for an, a belt from the bins, that was a good price. Next was a Zaya. Remember how you pronounce this one? No, it's it's Yaya because the Z, the is, Z is silent. silent. He's telling lies. Zaya Active. Yaya. Split back long sleeve shirt. 
I think it, I sold it for $24. I sent out an offer. It had been listed again on Poshmark for two months and then I put it on eBay and it sold the day I put it on eBay. So this may be a brand that's better suited to eBay. We will see. This is a good brand. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that we drink we don't wine in every it video. Anymore. Everybody just knows. And the last item I sold on eBay was Cuddle Duds lounge pants. These were my own lounge pants. And so I sold them at, for $10. This person had sent me low offers and I kept declining. And then they'd send me an offer for a dollar more. And then finally $10 was my automatically accept. I probably wouldn't have accepted if that wasn't on because they were just annoying to me. But I, it was an automatically accept and they paid immediately. I paid, I think, $4 for those and tried to wear them once. So that's my six eBay sales. Now let's talk about your eBay sales. All right. All right. So first one is a vintage Goody Brush French Roll Foundation. It was one of the things also from the... Hoarder House. Hoarder House um, that was leftovers. As another thing that was left from that was a fly fishing vest. That was Ossible? left from that set? Oss yeah. Huh. I think, well... I think you bought this at the bins, actually. I got that at the bins. $10. Sold it for $10. Oh, my uh, vintage Marsh toboggan. We got that at the bins, too. Yes. Sold it for $12.99. The Marsh was a local grocery store chain that went out of business. Yeah, unfortunately, because it was really nice having two grocery stores in town. Next thing is a diesel, big logo, sweatshirt, not a hoodie. Um, twenty nine ninety nine. Where did didn't I got get this for you at the bins or something? Didn't I got this? Didn't for I you? got this? Didn't I got this for you? Didn't yes, I get it? You got it for or me. Find the, it and give it to you at the bins. Um, I'll do same that again. The Levi's the these black cargo pants. You got those at the bins for me. Eighteen bucks. Um, and they sold in how long? A month. Both of those about a month. Yeah, about a month. The next one is, um, it's a vintage uh, mini vac, and that was leftovers from the hoarder house as well. This stuff we've had for about a year almost now, right? <laughs> Six months? How that, long? That was in September. It's not even been four months. No concept of time. Uh, next is, uh, oh, this was another Facebook one. Well, throw it in. 2016 uh, BMW Championship uh, uh Flag, flag pin, uh, pin flag, pendant, pin flag. It's like the flag that goes on the pin at the golf course. It says BMW Championship on it. It was in the package. It was bought at the event. There was tickets in there. I just sent the tickets with it. Next is these marmot um, long johns. Did I get those for you too? Yep. Another bins. I mean, find them. I don't really buy many things without him being there to approve them. But I'll, I'll try to sell just about anything Marmot or... Yeah, it is a know, good brand. It's a good brand. Even the Long John sell, evidently. Um, and they were size small, which is... Size small sells slower, right? For me, that's what I've found. Yeah. Um, they sold for $17. Next is a Nike dry fit quarter zip shirt. It sold for fifteen ninety nine. Uh, Brooks Brothers lobsters and striped shirt. This oh was, yeah, you sold it. Yeah, this was my shirt, but um, did you ever wear it? Yeah, but it was too big. It was it was two XL, and I'm I guess I'm just a little XL guy now. So <laughs> a little XL. I'm just a little XL guy now. So sold it. Uh, and it was sixteen dollars. All right, twin pack of uh, refrigerator filter replacements. We found those at the bins. So I we, don't remember that. Yeah, I remember grabbing those up because we order those things like left and right, and I know they're like twenty bucks a piece for us. It seems like, or maybe like fifteen bucks a piece. Vintage zigzag afghan. Oh, where'd this come from? I I bought like a whole tub of. Uh, you bought them. From the neighbor? From the neighbors. I bought a whole tub of them for a buck. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were dollar each, but you just took the whole container for one dollar? I think so. <laughs> but I got 12 bucks for it. We take advantage of that neighbor. Ooh, ooh the boulette boots. Cayman skin. These things what were... What was it? 
they were caiman skin. Is that like a lizard. type of lizard? Yeah, it's like oh, an okay. alligator, a little alligator from um, South America, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I stay away from lizards. I think I had a caiman as a pet when I was a kid. Uh, but I did not make boots of him. <laughs> that's, that's nice. You have a dog named Boots. So that'd be a very weird sentence in our that life. Would be. So the bullet boots were actually, they had like um, burn on them from the muffler of like a motorcycle. I saw that dark spot and I thought maybe you put a weird color polish on it and that was burn. Yeah, it was burn. And I put it in the listing and I still sold them for $50. I thought I'd get 35 but I got 50 um, And that was under a week, right? Yeah, it was like a week I had them on there. So, and then the last thing I sold was the, the evidence flashcards. It's like um, flashcards for law students. I found those along with some other ones at uh, Goodwill one time. And they were, they were like on this, the color sale, you know. So they like, were half off. Yeah. So I got them for like a buck a piece. I ended up selling those for eighteen ninety five. And it only took It only year, took like so. six months. We're starting with Bella Doll button front chambray shirt, Bella Doll. I remember that being very popular when I first started reselling. I bought one or two and I don't know if I ever sold them. So this one was a dollar and I thought I'll give it a chance if it doesn't sell. I can keep it. It was my size. It was very soft. And of course it sold within a week for a full price of $25. The next item was a vintage houndstooth jacket. This was from the hoarder house. So it was free to us. It was listed for about three and a half months. It sold for $29. It was very interesting print, but it did have some ripping on the inside. This J. Crew Sophie Heather khaki sweater blazer. This was in our my last haul I did where I went to this little mom and pop thrift store and it sold the day I listed it for a full price of $60. I paid $7 for it. Cali Demi Boot Jeans. These are made well. I forgot to put made well in the title. <laughs> it's that kind was, of important. That to was to a good the, call. You got to put the brand to it. I, I don't know if you've been doing this it for a It was listed, but... like you pick a brand <laughs> when you list it. So it was in the listing. It just wasn't in the title. But I still sold them in less than a day for $40. Uh, these were from Anderson when we went to Anderson Goodwill together. And I sold them the day I listed them. Don't feel bad. I, I totally got the um, brand wrong on some overalls. I put Big Ben. Evidently, that's an American-made brand. And Big Smith is not an American. How did you get that wrong? You just copy somebody else's? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Dansko Black Cabrio Professional Leather Shoes. So these were they're from Goodwill. They were very beat up on the toes. I put leather polish on them. The thing that bothered me is that she dinged me a star because the bottom of the shoes was dirty when she got them. Except in the picture, which I will put here, it shows exactly how I sent them. So she knew what they looked like. I, They weren't that dirty. They had a sticker that was attached. I, I cleaned them a lot, but that bothers me. Next was American Eagle High Rise Jeggings. These were listed for two months. I pretty sure I got them at the bins. That's the only place I buy American Eagle jeans. And they sold for $18. We have a Lauren Conrad, like a sweater kind of poncho thing. I don't normally buy Lauren Conrad, but it was brand new with tags and it was at the bins. And I liked the color. It took two months to sell. P.O.L. Audrey Crushed Velvet Baby Doll Top. This, I believe I got at the bins. I was hoping it would fit me because I've been looking for a blue velvet or crushed velvet top, but it just looked awkward. So I listed it and it sold in about a month for $17. P.O.L. is a brand I do like. It's very similar style to Free People. Next was a vintage black leather maxi skirt. I'm, I think we got these this at the bins. Leather skirts. In general, I would buy, but this was maxi length and it was plus size. So it was pretty cool. And it sold in about a month for $30. Brooks, I buy all the Brooks that are not too worn on the bottom. These were listed for not long, uh, like a week, two weeks. And they sold for $28. Those are the GTS 17. A Victoria's Secret, very sexy push-up bra. 
don't remember where I got this at all. It was listed for two months, sold for $16, probably at the bins. Athleta Sherpa uh, like hoodie. So this was Athleta Girl, the only time I've ever bought Athleta Girl. This sold one time and I had accidentally copied somebody else's listing and left the word new in the title. Oh. But my pictures described, like showed and the description described it as used. And I even said it was kind of matted. It wasn't in great shape, but she opened up a case saying she thought she was getting a new one. So that was returned to me, but I sold it again for $16. And now I have five stars. So that turned out all right. A free people, stars aligned, bell sleeve top. I know I got this at the bins. It was very, very lightweight, like six ounces probably. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And it sold in two months, right after relisting. Sold for $15. Anthropology, oh, this was in my haul. This was from the Anderson Goodwill. Anthropology Colette pants. I sold them $30 offer in like a day. I had a bundle. This is a return buyer. I don't think she watches our videos. These she purchased for $60 and she got a shipping discount. One of them was Lululemon shorts that I was so sure would sell very well. So, and those were listed for $35 by themselves, but Fabletic shorts, I paid $2 for. White House black market dress, I either paid one or two dollars for, and the Lululemon shorts are from the bins. A Jane and Delancey bird print top. I oh, believe I paid, what? I love bird prints. Dave loves birds in general. Birds are cool. This was a 3X, which is the only reason I bought it. I like fish I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 3X, it was a, a novelty print, and I believe it was dollar day, so it, was one dollar gimmicks <laughs> by bke burgundy embroidered top i do buy this brand sometimes at the bins and on dollar day because it does have a following it's from the buckle and it's similar vibes to i would say johnny was but much much cheaper it was half off so i paid two dollars and it took only three months to sell <laughs> i don't think i'd buy that one again Brooks shoes again. Brooks Ghost 13 running shoes. I think I paid $5 for these at my local Goodwill and I was hoping they wouldn't sell because they were my size and I I used to wear Brooks a lot and I wanted to try this one again if it didn't sell. Of course it sold for $40 in like a week. Next is Cabby. Cabby cool down pants number 965. I don't know. Where did I get these? I think I paid full price for these because I was Pretty sure because they full were price. For, full price at my Goodwill is four bucks. They were a newer style, so I was pr pretty positive they would sell. I kept getting $20 offer, offers. I had them listed for 40. <laughs> I kept getting $20 offers, I think from the same person, and I would reject that. That's the word. It's not reject, it's decline. I would decline that. Rejected. So. $28 was much better. Lane Bryant high rise jeggings. I know I got these at the bins. There was a day we went and there were a group of ladies that had gotten things for themselves and threw them back and there were a bunch of really nice plus size clothes. So this was one. They were listed Thanks, ladies. for like a couple weeks and sold for $24. This is in the midst of, I sent 30% off offers in my whole closet. That's what this was. Gymshark. Fit seamless workout leggings. I paid full price for these at my local Goodwill. How do they do $4. that? $4. Seamless? That's a thing. Seamless. How do they do it? It's magic. I don't know. It's got to be. They employ unicorns and they knit the shirts. They I don't just know. just do it around people? They just yeah, knit around them. That's exactly right. <laughs> Gymshark is not selling nearly as well as I expected with all the talk about it. These took... Um, over a month and only sold for $24. This is one of my favorite brands, Smart Wool. Oh, I've got so, Smart Wool socks on right now. These are Smart Wool socks. Oh, I love them. So these were at a local thrift store and their socks are 50 cents each. Oh my so I God. got three pairs of Smart Wool because I had sold a Smart Wool sock bundle before. Much, much larger bundle. 
three pairs and I sold them for $18 in less than a day. Patagonia Sprite Dress Turquoise. How'd you say that? Patagonia? Patagonia. No, no. You said Patagonia like it was a flower of some sort. No, it's a mountain range. I know, but you said Patagonia. Area. I said it how like a, it said. Okay. I don't remember where I got this. I listed it in December, at end of December, when it was time to list all your athletic wear. Patagonia dresses are not real good sellers, so I was very happy to sell this for $17. Neither are their shoes. No, you sold their shoes. Yeah, but not for as much as we thought they were going to sell for. We have a Madewell short sleeve tie front shirt. This was from a flip lot that, yeah, um, I'm not selling flip lots anymore. I'm sending flip lots at this point. So this person whose items I received to sell myself on consignment, almost every single item that I received in October or November was summer. But who's who wants a white a crisp white shirt in December? Nobody. So I was so thankful I finally sold it for a 30% off offer of $17. Spanx leggings. This is a low sale for Spanx. But there's a reason I got them at the bins and the um, finish on them was kind of worn off. So I think they were supposed to be faux leather, but it had worn down and looked kind of like distressed. So that's why they were listed for so low and they sold for only $17, but they did sell in less than a month. Spanx leggings I'll always buy. They'll always sell. 100% sell through rate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ugg boots. These were baby blue Ugg boots, not in great shape, from the bins. Brought them home and realized they were a kid size. Kid size Ugg boots sell for much less and much slower. So they these were listed for five months and finally sold for $24. Here's the other crisp white Madewell shirt. Same seller. I really hope she doesn't watch my video. <laughs> You do this I'm not lot. trying to be mean to people. I just get annoyed at small things. And, and then she I only talk tells about me them about it. Until now. And she I only tell tells me about it. Anybody that watches. Until she gets on here and has a couple glasses of wine. And then I tell all. Next thing you know, she's making enemy. But this one was in a size medium at least. The previous one was XX small. XX? Extra, extra small. XX small. This one was cute and had embroidered medallions on it but it did take the same amount of time to sell three months you made another and five sold bucks. for 17 dollars tiva i'm gonna admit a mistake on this right away and i will i will tell you how it turns out in the next video tiva hiking boots sky lake hiking boots i sold these they'd been listed for two months and it was a 30 percent off offer they did have some staining on them and some cracks I sold them for $17, not very much. As I'm packing them up, I realize that one's a size 7 and one's a size 8. Oh, she does this all the time. <laughs> so, I went ahead and shipped them. If they open a case, I'll take it back. It doesn't cost you any money if you have a case open against you on Poshmark. If it were on eBay, I would have to pay the shipping to have it brought back to me. So I would definitely not have done this if it were on eBay. But on Poshmark, if she notices and says there's a problem with them, I'll take them back. No problem. And say, yeah, sorry. My fault. If she doesn't notice, or if they fit her that way, like maybe people have one foot that's a little bit bigger and she's like, oh, cool. That worked. Then it worked. If you're listing a ton of stuff fast, you're going to screw up every now and then. I just, I just get lost in the, what are the odds that you go through the entire bins and you find two exact same shoes and then you realize they're different sizes. We used to check every shoe yeah, to make I don't sure. Know why. Why, why did we stop that policy? This is my last one. Lucky Brand Plus Size Emma Legging Jeggings. But these were listed for 40 and I sent out a... 30% off offer. They had been listed for two and a half months. That's that's the end. I, I know I had like 37. <laughs> 30, 37 Poshmark. 
I thought it was gonna be much less. We ha I had like one or two days where I had no sales. Remember me telling you? I've had no sales today. He said, me either. That's it? How's your weather been? It's cold. Look at all these layers I got on. I'm nearly positive this is the exact same thing you wore in the last video. That could be. I remember the I wear the this hat. a lot because it's the warmest stuff I have. I remember I the yeah. base layer. This is from the army. This may be a different one, but I'm not sure. I can put a side-by-side -side photo. I have, I do have other clothes. He has lots and lots of clothes. But I wear them. He's like a teenager. Like when you wash the clothes and put them on top, that's what they grab the next time. I'm pretty simple. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, we didn't cheers. Oh, good so. thing. Good thing erasers don't work for hitting the button. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. To the chickens. To the chickens. And the birds. And the, what else? Fish. Hit the butt. And the fish. I need drink. some more too, cause I'm gonna have to take sips to keep my mouth uh, lubricated. Lubricated mouth. All right. You have to lubricate the mouth sometimes. Isn't that a word that works? Yeah. What else would you say? Moisten? Moist. Moist mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, cut that That's out. That's all getting cut. <laughs> all his fun anecdotes get cut right out. Just cut my Nobody stuff. has time for all this nonsense, Dave. You should go back and watch the portion where Dave does his items that sold. And you see how quiet I am. Just taking in all the info. And then when I do my part, Dave has stories about socks and tags and overalls and all kinds of stuff. Enemies. We need to have a whole video series about how we just we rant a, with wine. A whole video of you apologizing <laughs> to all the people you've offended. Are you done? No. Did you just go 421? This is the time of year we get our snow blowers and suicidal thoughts going. Su suicidal. Su suicidal thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mike Tyson's death. What's his phone number? Fee fi fo. Fee fi fo fo. <sighs> Do not put that in there. I'm just putting all kinds of stuff in the end. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do not put that Mike Tyson joke in there. I do. I love Let's it. name all our animals we like. <laughs> Hi, Cats I'm Dave. and dogs and fish. I'm Dave. What's your birds. favorite? Birds. What's your favorite animal? That's how I greet all strangers. Hi, I'm Dave. What's your favorite animal? But I would bry. Did I say that word correctly? Wood bry? I didn't say it correctly. What's a wood bry? How much would you pay for wood bries? Why do you make me double edit you out? <laughs> The problem with editing videos with Dave involved is that it will get to a, You're gonna a cut place up. that seems logical and then he will bring back <laughs> a previous joke that I cut. And it's like, how do I cut this joke out you properly? Can't. But sometimes you can't because he says it over the top of something I said. You can't cut it all. So, so I, I feel just gotta like- gotta get it in when I can. I have to be careful what I say because you'll use it in the outtakes. Stop scratching the lice. You have lice. I need to take a breath because my words aren't coming out right. I'll figure it out and I'll put it here on the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, my reel. I talk on the blooper reel. Not as much as I do. I'm a blooper reel waiting to happen. I wake up and blooper reels happen. Totally I wake kind up of... and I piss blooper wheels. It's <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> a bonus. Who did that? We, tickets? We're in great shape here with our coughing and nose. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're sick folks. Does that seem weird? I don't, I don't buy my, this stuff anymore. Let's chat my nipples. 
Thank you. eBay lessons with Dave. Yeah, anyway. Which is Dave's, Sorry. Dave's cut, lesson corner. You can cut this out. Just cut Of course it. I will. I think she does this just to confuse me so I look like an idiot. I'll probably cut this whole story out. Please.